All right. Well, I think we are live again. And hopefully, it holds up this time. So, yes, I think we are good to go once again. Good to go once again. So hopefully Hey, Shock. Hopefully some more people pop in. So it looks like we've got a few folks pouring in, so that's good. I uh, take a minute to apologize to uh, everybody. Had no idea that things would be that rough starting up. What's up, Biggs? Glad to see ya. Oh my gosh, even even Twitter gets messed up with this stuff. Let's try this again. Give me the right preview this time. Of course not. I'm going to post the link in the stream. Guys, if you wouldn't mind sharing it back out to your people's My fault. My fault on that one, guys. I'm sorry. It's crazy because, like, the last stream went, like, absolutely perfectly. And, like, get two minutes into this one and it decides to take a total, complete, absolute dump. Like, I, you know, like, Human Malware 2020 edition decides it's gonna, you know, just hit you right in the shorts. So, but yeah, we're going to be starting back up at 10 p.m. So, everything's okay for seemingly now. So, that's a good thing. And I think... I think 
the uh, the fellow that wasn't able to play might actually be able to play now. So I'll get to relax and commentate. Hopefully I hear from him. I mean, there's nothing... Nothing that says that I can't put his name back in. So I guess we'll see what happens next. I think we'll be all right. Yep, Ketchup, that is, I presume I'm talking to Ketchup. You're the one that's always been here. Maybe I'm talking to Mustard, which would be, nice, would be cool. First time talking to Mustard, I think, but I think it's Ketchup. Uh, but yeah, yep, things always seem to go well, except when you really need them to. So, ah, cool. All right, Ketchup, cool. Nightmare James, Shijima de Virgo, hello. Nice to see you. But yeah, it's always... Always when uh, things are going well, like, you know, a computer runs fine for four or five weeks at a time and getting ready for a big hype event and ka -chunk. So hopefully, hopefully, put your hands together and say a little prayer or whatever you might do that uh, everybody shows up despite the fact that we're running an hour late and we can do something good uh, for Arcade Legacy. Uh, and I will actually bring up the I'll bring up the GoFundMe as well um, because I want I want people to know how we're doing during the stream and hopefully we can you know go Twitch style you know people that have hundreds or thousands of people watching and get those what they call like donation. Uh, donation uh what do they call it donation trains going but uh guys we're actually doing really well uh we're already at uh we're already at 440 of the thousand dollar goal which is uh which is awesome and we haven't even started the tournament yet <laughs> so that's good though that's very good that is very good Yeah, we were at 440 out of uh, 500. And if you guys check in the video description below, you will see that um, in the video description, you'll see that there are links to donate. Um, but I will also occasionally, um, I will occasionally pop the, occasionally pop this into the chat as well like I just did so all right well glad to say that master of my universe is able to play in the tournament so he will be retaking his old spot which means I can focus on commentating this is great that's crazy, man. I'm I'm sorry to hear that, Master of My Universe. Glad you're okay. We had a we had a tornado come through back in April on the ninth. Um, in fact, exactly 21 years ago, to that day when it hit, when another one hit about a half mile from my house. This one ended up about a quarter mile from my house this time, um, and about five houses down the road, you can see where there is still a trampoline in the back of somebody's woods. So it's kind of crazy. It's about 15 feet up in the air. It's that's the, that's nature's trampoline now. So, all right, guys. Now 
Uh, it is 10 o'clock. So I think I have everything set for this stream now. Everything is set to go. Um, I'll run back through the... I'll go ahead and run back through the... Uh, the list of combatants, and then we'll shuffle the seeds, and then we'll get ready to go. Shock, McLovins, Shapeshifter, Wall Trap Queen, Sinfuegos, Draconian, Nexus Strove, True Coup, Turd Baby, Max, Unknown Legend, Biggs, Robin Steele, 187, Street, Master of My Universe, DDY, 1 800 Euro Scrub, Counterweight, and Footwork. So I appreciate your ketchup. Thank you very much. And we'll go ahead and pull that back in. All right. So now that we got the seeds saved. Um, also, if anybody would not mind, um, go ahead for me and let, let me put out an APB for all our all our players. sure everybody's going to be here. Uh, who else isn't in here yet? Make sure Max is here. All right, I think everybody's going to be good. So, All right, well, we're going to go ahead and get started because we're already an hour behind. My fault on that. Uh, AMD, get it together. That's all I'll say. All right, so here we go. We're on stream. Shuffle. Click. Yes, we are going to continue with seed shuffling. Now, as I said, we will do it again. So now, there we have two shuffled seeds. And now, we will go to the bracket. And we will start the tournament. So here we go. Here is our bracket. We've got our first matches, if everybody's ready. We've got Max and Footwork, Sinfuegos and Nexus, although I think he may be he may be out again. Street and Psh and then DDY and Counterweight. So Max and Footwork, you guys are up whenever you are ready. So I'll go ahead and get everything ready on the main end of things. All right, guys. Max and Footwork. Hop into the room and let's go. Yeah, um, uh, anti Robin Steel, whatever, whatever we're calling ourselves these days. We're, uh, Guys, if anybody has a way to get a hold of Nexus, uh, maybe send him a send him a shout out. See if he if he wants to play. As soon as this thing gets off the ground. As soon as our guys get ready to go. So the other two that we could possibly have up first is, uh, let's see. Let me 
You could also have street and psh or DDY and counterweight. So guys, um, go ahead and get in. And if, uh, actually, you know what, if Nexus is uh, not going to be here, which I'm being told that's the case, um, I can fill in his spot. I'll probably just be a body at that point. All right, we've also got um, street and psh, if you guys want to get going. DDY and counterweight. Uh, Biggs and Draconian actually could get going as well. Like I said, guys, just hop into the server and uh, we'll get we'll get ready and we'll go. Let's go, fellas. We could also have Unknown Legend and McLovin's Wall Trap and True Coup. Actually, you know what? Wall Trap and True Coup, get in there. Because you guys are both in the server. Get in there and let's go. I see both names in there, so let's get let's get it going. I know we started late. And I apologize. I apologize for that. So let's go, fellas. Guys, we got a lot of people watching right now. Do something good for Arcade Legacy. Don't everybody jump at once. Ha! We got several guys that can get in and play, so don't know where everybody else is. Hopefully. Thanks, Amber. Tony. Tyler. I I know. I know. We're we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Could also have Shock and Turd Baby ready to go. Hey, Arturo. Yo guys, we got we got 43 people in here. And I think that's more than we ever had for an offline stream on uh You're in my game. What in the world? Doesn't look like it. Hold on, let me try again. Alright, got a new one. I started a new one there. Try again there, Truku. Alright, we got Wall Trap and Truku. And we are ready to get it busted out. So let me get everything moved across. Ready to go. And I will turn some controls over in just one blink.
All right, we got True Coup on player one. Wall Trap Queen on player two. Let's have some good high level MK. You guys are up as soon as you are ready. Alright guys, here we go. First to three, fellas. First to three. F3, I need to restart. Okay, we should be on, we sh those should be muted now. Oh, that's, that's good. There we go. Sub -zero. Sub -zero. All right, here we go. Fight. Oh, they might be button check. I don't know what they're doing. Could be a button check. Yep, looks like it's a button check. All right. Okay, they're button checked. They're good to go. Yo, what's up, Gonzalo? Freeze there. All right, it's gonna start pushing Sindel towards the corner. Nice. Oh, now Sindel's got the corner advantage. Nice block. Followed by the. There we go. Nice slide. Taking advantage of that fast Sub Zero slide. Nice combo by Wall Trap. Hop over jump kick for Sub Zero. Truku takes the first round. Another pop up. 30% plus a corner advantage. Alright, Truku's up 1 0. Always, always trouble when uh, you get hit with a naked freeze by classic sub because that's pushed towards the corner as well. Oh, there we go. Nice combo by Wall Trap. Wall Trap takes the first round.
just missed. Ooh, just missed the ground ice too. Nice, very, very nice co uh, corner combo there by Welltrap. All right, one, one. It's a good start. So Truku's gone to unmask sub this time. All right, there you go. Okay, good strategy there. I think he might have dropped that first combo on purpose to try to throw a little wrench at Nightwolf as opposed to an ice ball. Looks like it, it looks like it may have paid off. Chance for a big punish combo there. Decided. Sometimes you sometimes you just react and you, you kind of assume that your your attacks are going to get blocked, and then you just follow up with your jab pressure straight away. Nice throw. Good ice pressure. Very nice. Patiently waited. All right, so now it's uh, it's two one. Nice ice. All right, all right. Wall trap's gone to uh, one of the robots. Wall trap known for some good robots. Nice, very nice punish, followed by some rocket pressure. Good pressure by Truku. Nice punish. All right, Truku's on match point here. Ooh, punishes the close ice, 27%. It's pretty good for Sector. Big damage there. Just missed an opportunity for a little bit bigger damage. Oh, wow. All right, 3-1. And the fatal to finish him off. Ooh, good night, sweet prince sector. Well done. Good game, guys. All right, guys, three out of five. Three out of five. All right. All right, guys. So uh, first uh, first match is underway, and uh, we've got um, Wall Trap Queen and Truku with uh, Truku winning three to one. And uh, remember, guys, uh, this is a turn. This is a benefit tournament for Arcade Legacy. So. Uh, in the video description down below, there's a link to donate. It's a GoFundMe. So, uh, guys, if you would uh, if you would be kind enough to donate, that would be awesome. So, here's a look at the here's a look at the here's a look at the bracket. So we'll go ahead and. Uh, Get the next matches ready to go. All right, so next up we got um, Max and Footwork. Go ahead and join the room. Hey, thanks, Paul. Appreciate you.
Here we go, guys. We're at 500. We're halfway there, fellas. All right, footwork is in and ready to do some footwork. Just waiting on Max. Oop. All right, fellas. As soon as, uh, as soon as Max gets in, guys, do we have Max? Do we have a max? Guys, we could also do... Um, I hate to keep jumping around, though. I really do hate to keep jumping around. I don't know where Max went. He was here earlier, I think. All right, well, uh, we could do that. Um, uh, is Turd Baby ready to go? Let's see if... Uh, let's see if Turd Baby's ready to go. All right, so um, footwork, I'm going to go ahead and boot you, and uh, we're going to try to get a few more matches in. Uh, and if Max doesn't show up, then uh, you'll get a win. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick footwork. All right, Shock, go ahead and get in there. All right, so we're going to have Turd Baby on player, uh, Shock on player one, Turd Baby on player two. So hang with me while I get everything set again. My fault, fellas. It's, uh, things are just a little bit wonky here tonight. <sighs> Golly, I'm sorry. There we go. And then, all right, shock on player one, turd baby on player two. If you guys catch me typing in all caps, it's because I'm tired of hitting the, uh, I'm tired of hitting the, uh, caps lock button to change back. So, forgive me. Shock on player one. Turd baby on player two. Round one. Fight. And shot going to human smoke. Turd baby right to the ball. Nice pop up.
I just missed the spear. A little less, not so much bread and butter there, or meat and potatoes, as Shock likes to say. There's the, there's the meat and potatoes for Shock. I think Shock wanted to try a little bit of style there at first. Very nice, uh, nice naked roll there by Turd Baby. Turd Baby, I believe, uses a Sega Saturn controller. And Shock, you better bet he's on our, he's on stick. Nice punish there by... Nice combo by Turd Baby. He's got Shock on Danger. They call him Danger Matt. But uh, Turd Baby takes that one. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, guys, what is going on here? Oh, guys, goodness sakes. Yeah, hang on a second. Hold up. Hold up. see what's going on here. Let's just restart MAME. All right, Shock and Turd Baby join back. All right, let's get Turd Baby back in there. Ooh, sorry. 
bumped something there. Hang on a second, guys. Okay. So yep, turd baby hop back in whenever. Alright, so now we're going to have turd baby on player... Actually, I think I can finagle this the right way. Okay, so let me see. Just have to make sure that I have this right. So now, Turd Baby's on player one, Shock's on player two. There we go. 58% out of Sonya, that's pretty good. Not too bad. There we go. Wins. Round two. Fight. Ooh. Some fast footsies from Sonya. Kano's got some footsies on him too, though. Keeping him in the corner. That was nice. Nice, punish, nice pop up. Or nice combo to keep him in the corner. Two one shock. Round one. Fight. All right, get punished by turd baby. A little too much spacing there by the. Wow, that anti-air roundhouse by Sony was on point.
Oh, Shock was looking for that. He was looking for the infinite there. Alright, and Shock's going to take it. 3 1. Alright, good game, guys. Pull the pull the bracket back up here, and we got shock over turd baby three to one. Okay, let's see. Did I see where Max said he can't play? All right, so Max. Um, All right, so Sinfuegos, or I'm sorry, Max is gonna uh, Max is DQ'd. So, so footwork moves on. Str Nexus is not playing, so Sinfuegos moves on. And all right, we got uh, DDY and counterweight. DDY and Counterweight. All right. So we're going to have DDY on player one, Counterweight on player two. Just a second, guys. Sorry, this... I did not set this up very well, guys. I got a little bit frazzled after everything. All right, so DDY on player one. Counterweight on player two. No, Michael, I'm not playing. I decided uh, I would give that spot to somebody that might want to play instead uh, to open it up and uh, to encourage some other people to play. Uh, and I really wanted to take this stream to uh, really focus on uh, commentating, which I'm not doing a great job of, but uh, getting things going for Arcade Legacy. So, but yeah, guys, uh, we got a couple sub zeros going on here couple sub-zeros and uh, counterweight's gonna take the first round sub tab mock nice to see you oh wow that was a nice uh, nice anti-air uh, or nice, uh, nice freeze dodge, a little transport there with the ice clone. Nothing wrong with a little ice clone to hop around. Nice comeback by Eddie. I just missed a just missed a slide there. Uh 
Yep, Mariano, the uh, the ice clone is definitely a little broken. Um, you can file that under bugs that are not bugs, uh, according to uh, code. But uh, guys, yeah, uh, like I said before, check out the the video, the description uh, down below in the details. There's a link to donate to Arcade Legacy if you're so inclined. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, like to help these guys out. They've been real good to us. All right, counterway to switch to Cabal. Eddie, of course, is character locked, so he stays with classic sub. punish very nicely done into the into the that's a good dodge by cabal nice anti-air crossover anti crossover uppercut 2-0 yeah Ariana unfortunately there's uh there's been a little bit of there's been a little bit of lag issues. Fight. Although I've played with you in the past, no doubt, and I'm uh, I wonder about that because you got more, you got more spikes than the than a than a than a Mortal Kombat pit. But yes, they do, Arion. But that's the thing. There is there's nothing on the line for this. Like this is strictly to benefit Arcade Legacy, to bring people in, get them watching, and to have, uh, hopefully get some people uh, to incline them, uh, to be so inclined to donate, to help keep Arcade Legacy afloat. That's that's what we're here for. Nice sweep. Oh, nice. That was a nice jump kick there. Good sweep. Nice freeze. Gonna set up some big damage. Oh! 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 A little bit of sauce and a fatal. Not bad. We appreciate it, no doubt. We appreciate the, uh, appreciate the donation. I totally understand Mariano. I do. DDY has gone to human smoke. That that little that little pop jump kick is not bad. Run pressure there by Eddie. Eddie just needs one combo, and he got it. Stuffs the freeze with a low punch. Hop away. Very nice. Very patient. Very patient by Eddie. He's going to push him into the corner. And that's going to be a 3-1 win for DDY. Good game, guys. Good game.
so let's uh, get back over to the to the bracket there and DDY over counterweight three to one all right we are all set for the second round See, I know it's let's, let's go ahead and get the wall trap queen there. All right, so now we got shape shifter and footwork. Shape shifter and footwork. Go back to the hype here again, guys. If you would like to be so kind as to donate or anything you can do would be always appreciated. The links in the details of the video below. I remember, uh, I remember a little hustler Chris on uh, uh, on PSN as well, Arion. I believe it's the same guy. Yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about Arcade Legacy. They've actually got three locations. Um, there's the main uh, location there in the Cincinnati Mall. Uh, well, what used to be the Cincinnati Mall. Uh, it's just a uh, it's a fairly vacant building with now with uh, more square footage than Trump Tower. But uh, there's Arcade Legacy and a few other little things you might know, like Bass Pro Shops and uh, a couple little shops like that. Um, but uh, they've been around, I believe, for 10 years now. Uh, they have uh, they have a barcade location uh, down on the north side of Cincinnati. And uh, they also have a location in Newport. Um, and we started... Um, with Arcade Legacy uh, at uh, our first iteration of CKK and uh, that was in 2016 and uh, we've been there ever since like I said they've been they've been very good to us alright guys we got footwork on player one Shapeshifter on player two. Yeah, I ate the dude, I ate the gumballs, and it was like it was uh almost needed some dental work afterwards. Well played there by Shapeshifter. A little morph to Jax, see what he does with it. Run under sweep. Uh, Chris, the only problem with uh, a team's tournament like this is uh, the, the, the lag in teams is just so much worse than what it is in 1v1. Um, it's, I mean, you know, we always talk about that this is not a test of skill at all. Like, this is not putting player skills against each other. Um, this is just, this is just for fun and, uh, nothing else. Um, so, it can become an issue, uh, if you have five or six guys hitting the, hitting the server in the same game. And it just, it gets kind of, it can look, it can look worse than this. Like the the connection the connection last time was downright amazing. Like it, the connection held out really well for the duration of the tournament. We've had some hiccups here tonight already. So, 
Ooh. Footwork going to Shang. Let's see what he can do here. See if he's going to stay in character or if he's going to do a little morphin' action. Nice combo. All right. Shapeshifter hits him right back. Ooh, just... I think he tried to... Oh, wow. Nice, nice uh, Sonya rings there. That was amazing. Uh, you could, Nightmare James. Yeah, you could definitely do that. Uh-oh. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, nice. He could have taken him the rest of the way. I don't know why he didn't. That would have been pretty swag. First flawless victory of the tournament. Oh, the Court Jester. That's what happens when you try to go Shang versus the Court Jester. You get, to, you become the Court Jester. Flawless victory, Babality, for Shapeshifter. To go up two to nothing. That's one thing that, uh, you know, it does require, you know, playing Shang the way that Shapeshifter does, it does require you to be proficient with uh, pretty much the entire cast, or most of the cast, uh, at any given point. And I know that he knows exactly what he's doing, but uh, when you talk about players that play well with the entire cast, you have to include Shapeshifter in that conversation just because of how well he uses Shang Tsung as all the different characters. When I think of players... Uh, around UMK3 that are good with every player in the cast. I think Shock, I think McLovin's, I think Dubson, and I think Shapeshifter. And I'm probably missing a few, but those are the four that immediately come to mind. And uh, Shapeshifter is putting it on right now. Hustler just needs a few chips here. Footwork just needs a little bit. There, he got him. Yeah, Timmy morphs like no other. He's, I mean, he's just so good. Now they're dancing around each other here. Little throw there by Footwork. Footwork applying some pressure to, sh uh, to Shapeshifter here. Guys, another thing that you, you, you may notice if the... I notice the stream sometimes chops up a little bit. Um, all my video card settings, uh, it's... Uh, the video card was what caused the issue in the first place. So when I... Oh, little mercy. I'll get back to that in a second. Pardon the digression. Oh, no. Don't let him back in. Oh! Oh, we let him back in. Um, it might be, You might see a little choppy on stream. All of my video card settings right now are uh, completely stock. Like, I have the Radeon drivers, the updated Radeon drivers installed. But uh, there's no optimization whatsoever. So coming through on the stream, it, I'm, I'm, watching, uh, I'm watching the game itself. Uh, and it looks okay. I notice when I look over at the stream sometimes, it doesn't look always that great. So, kind of hard to say. Oh. Oh, hit him with that long-reaching grenade. We'll jump over. Tries for the anti-air high punch, just missed it. Jump over again, jump over again. Gets punished, 37%. Oh, wow, 36% off like several ground eruptions. Nice combo again. Oh, he's got Ermac going. Oh, I think he—I think he was gonna—I uh, think he was going for a uh, 
for a lift there and he missed it. Oh. Ooh, toasty. You know, I, you know, you know, there's that theory post that, uh, you know, your car can't be nicer than your house, or your car payment can't be higher than your rent payment or whatever, however they call it. Like a 3000 series G-Force is probably going to cost like what the rest of my rig cost. Yep. Uh, Shapeshifter is paying for that mercy right now. Um, if he had not granted mercy, we would be uh, well into the next fight by now. are getting a little tight here. Shapeshifter might be, uh, might have to pull out that dorkly clip for uh, friendship regretted. I mean, this time it'd be mercy regretted. Nice combo. Oh, wow. Footwork takes it three to two. All right. Nice game, guys. Good comeback by footwork there at the end. All right, so footwork goes up. All right, we got uh, got Biggs and Draconian. Now this is going to be a match right here. But let me uh, let me pause for just a second while I'm trying to do multiple things at once to set things up. Um, real quick. Um, but yeah, Arcade Legacy. Uh, started playing, uh, started uh, back in 2016 uh, at Arcade Legacy uh, with our first tournament, uh, and we expanded and grew, and I mean, these guys are uh, just amazing. They've allowed us use of their facilities, uh, they've allowed us um, uh, not just the use of the facilities, but they've rolled out the arcade equipment for the first couple years. We used their streaming equipment, uh, just all in all, just very nice, uh, great people, great staff, went out of their way for us. Uh, you know, the venue fee, you know, was 10 bucks a person, and it was good for both days. It was good for two days. I mean, that, that was just, that was, that was really nice, on top of all the equipment that they allowed us to use, as well as uh, full use of the arcade while we were there. So, uh, great cause, uh, great business, great people. Uh, guys, if you can... Uh, if you can shoot him a donation, that would be that would be amazing. We want uh, we want these guys uh, to be here when all this uh, when all this is over. All right, Biggs and Draconian. Draconian is going to be on player one. Biggs is going to be on player two. Come <laughs> on. 
Armak and Reptile, pretty classic matchup. Oh, wow. Force ball went right through him. Because the hitbox activated over. All right, classic Drac with some with some uh, Ermac style, making it look good as always. Uh oh! Oh! All right, one oh, one one uh, one round for Drac there. Drac Mac, that's right. Drac Mac and Cheese. Good combo there by Biggs. Come, um, Biggs is not letting Drac go to the air against him very much. He's having to do all of his work on the ground, but he's getting it done pretty well on the ground too. Ooh, little swag there. Teleport. 1-0 Drac. And guys, also, if you would be so inclined, um, you know, share the channel, drop a sub on it. Um, if you would, drop a like on the video, because the more we can get exposure after the stream is over, the even better that it will be uh, for Arcade Legacy and for CKK by extension. So drop a sub on it if you wouldn't mind. I was, uh, sometimes watching... Sometimes watching Reptile do work just leaves me speechless. That was a, it was a good force ball with some rush behind. Oh, wow. Nice toe tap into uppercut by Biggs to punish and take the round. Chip damage. Oh wow, nice, uh, nice choice of jump punch there by Drac as opposed to jump kick. Uh oh, here we go, pop up. Anybody get the number of hits in that combo? Very nicely done. Unbelievable. And now uh, you got Post in there, uh, changing his, uh, changing his opinions. Like, uh, uh, I got nothing for that. You, you know. You can draw your own conclusions there. Changing opinions quite frequently, like a politician. Nice punish. I think Drac took a guess there and just a frame or so behind. Oh, couple whiffs. Now Drac's got second life. Reptile takes him with the slow slide. Yeah, what that is, uh, what that is, Tab Mock, is... Ermac was so close to Reptile when Reptile started that up, the force ball, the hitbox, actually started behind Ermac. Thank you, Mariano. I couldn't think of it. Oh, Drac dropped another one. And Biggs is going to work again. Ooh, and he goes invisible and knocks him off the screen. Uh-oh. Drac has gone to Sindel, down two to one. And now Post is definitely squarely back in the court of Draconian.
Uh, tab mock, the, the failed mercy was uh, footwork versus shapeshifter. Nice throw by Drac. Nice double low punch. Keeping him in, keeping Reptile in the corner. That was pretty definitive there. All right, Sindel comes out and does uh, does the work that Ermac couldn't clean up, kind of like MK9, but a very slight, uh, very slight change in climate. And Biggs has changed over to Human Smoke. Yeah, I, I agree, Dubson. Those uh those uh lag can cause some issues with those combos for sure. Yeah, this is definitely this is definitely hype right here. Nice air throw by Pigs. That was he took a little risk there, but it paid off. Oh, nice jump kick by Drac to take the round. This is some this is some solid MK right here, guys. Nice air throw again. Biggs is on with that air throw too. Oh, big damage from Sindel. All right, Drac put on a good amount of damage there. Uh oh, a little pop up. Is he gonna carry it? All right, match point for both. Oh, anti-air high kick, and that's going to be it. Nice set. That was hype. Good games, guys. Good games, guys. That was a good set. All right, guys, we got uh, Street and Psh up next. So there's the bracket for you guys. Wow, guys, we're up to 640. Awesome. All right, guys, this is great. Let's uh, let's take a look through here, if you guys don't mind. Uh, got some got some donations in here. It's very uh, very well done, guys. We are getting there. We are getting there. Appreciate all our donations and all of our donors. Very much appreciative. Uh, let me see. All right. Um, who's next? Yep. Yeah. Street and Hey, what's up, Jesse? Nice to have you. Appreciate you being here.
awesome guys all right guys and street whenever they get in here So yeah, guys, getting back to Arcade Legacy. Um, one of the few places in town that had a UMK3 machine, so naturally I had to go there. And uh, I'm glad I did. Uh, first time, Actually, the first time I played McLovin's was at Arcade Legacy. Good memories there. Lots of good times. I'm actually wearing my Arcade Legacy t-shirt right now. Figured it was appropriate. <sighs> Alright. Um, let me tag John. Get ready. Um, okay, so Max has shown up. And so, of course, Max took the... Uh, Max had to take a, a loss the first round. Uh, but he is up against Turd Baby. Uh, I don't have a camera enabled, Tab Mock. I don't have a camera plugged in right now. Nobody wants to see me anyway. I have a face for radio, and I have a voice for text messaging, in case you couldn't tell. All right, fellas. Come on, guys. Jesse's here waiting for us. Let's go, fellas. All right, we got Max ready to go. And now, nah. hang on, Psh. turd baby, turd baby, turd baby. All right, um, hang on, Psh. we just got to get, and can't get a hold of street either, so. So as soon as Turd Baby gets in, looks like he's on his way in now. Looks like we're going to have Turd Baby on player one, Max on player two. That's that's funny, Jeff. <laughs> All right, Turd Baby Player 1, Max Player 2.
Um, Jesse, we are going to try to get... Um, we're going to try to get all the matches gone through. Uh, we may end up having to take some off stream in loser's bracket just because we got started an hour late. Uh, but we've also had some matches DQ, so um, it, it might balance out. Sounds good, Tabmok. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's my hope, Dubs, and that was that was like the, because first to five, seven, and ten, man, that, that's a, that's a lot of that's a lot of MK. Nice, uh, nice combo there by Ermac. Good rudimentary Ermac combos. Nice, uh, nice air throw by Kano. Blocked. A little bit slower to the punish, but got him on the jump kick. Ermac with the throw. Or, er, Ermac, yeah. Kano with the ball. Uh, nice throw by Ermac. Oh, caught him on the left. Nice continuation of the combo there. 36%. Double sweep by Kano. That's the thing about Kano. Oh, and a fatal. Thing about Kano is when you sweep once, you, if you connect the sweep, you're gonna sweep again. His sweep is so fast to start up. I think he. I think. Uh, oh, Gav, put some coins in. Put some coins in. Coin. But there we go. Uh, Kano has Kano, Jax, and Sonya have the three fastest sweeps in the game. Which I think is a little bit ironic because their character IDs are zero, one, and two. Um, but Jax and Sonya's sweep recovers a little bit faster. But Kano's sweep is very—it's very fast to start up. Uh, so if you're sweeping once, you're sweeping twice. And I think Turd Baby came up on Trilogy first, and that's a strategy where you automatically have priority. So it, like if you if you connect the sweep and you go immediate, you it's basically an automatic sweep check after that. Yeah, footwork's in here, Tab Monk. Ooh, two, two knives! Ermac got cut twice. That's going to be 2 to 0. Oh. And another fatal. Kano's lost his head twice tonight. Yeah, I see. Um, uh, anti. I, I've been trying to get a hold of Street on Skype. Fight. Okay. All right. So yes, you will be next. Ermac went across the entire screen to hit that jump kick, it looked like. Wins. Round two. Fight. Oh, nice, nice, uh, nice cannonball there by Kano. Good timing. Max getting some work in with Ermac, 37%. bit late on that but he still takes it Kano loses his head three times that's gonna be uh, three to oh for for Max good game guys good games
All right, so now we have street and getting in there. All right, go right back in again. You're right, Shock. That is almost an instant startup, actually. All right, so they're ready to go. Let me get ready to go. So Street's going to be on player one, and is going to be on player two. All right, street player one, psh, player two. Oh, cool Street Fighter. Yeah, psh, he's quite a player. I think he's come in second place two of the events of the four at CKK offline. What the heck? Uh, how did I miss that? Try that again, guys. One on one. Sorry, guys. I was so I've got I've got like I'm trying to manage the stream, <laughs> manage the game. I've got the YouTube chat here, and I've got uh, the Facebook chat on my phone. And I apologize for having my face on like three different screens. I didn't see. I didn't even see it. I started hearing a whole bunch of different names. Like, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right. Sorry about that. As we got uh, toasty, toasty, toasty. Somebody hit start button. Let's go. No, you choose classic combat. It's first to three, fellas. First to three. You guys get a chance to check out this Kent water. Not a sponsor. Water infused with a little bit of flavor. They're going right into it. Man, the street is moving with Cabal. Uh, well, Shot, you're giving away all my secrets, man. Tournament mode is going to get a distinct overhaul for Public Beta 2. got a little bit of an overhaul for beta 1 um, for nothing else than the fact that it gives you an actual stage rotation that's really about it but yeah it'll, it'll be uh, real stuff all right 1-0 1-0 street Oh, look at that. 48-hour Cabal. Who would have thought? Noob and Rain are banned because 
Rain is a created character. Uh, he has never been in the arcade up until recently. He was completely created. He was never in the game. Noob has really fast speed, no specials, Kano combos, but most importantly, he has a boss life bar, which means he only takes about two-thirds to 70% of the damage that normal attacks would do. Plus, he doesn't take chip damage after the first hit of the combo. And his throw does insane damage as well. That's why he's banned. Whoa, hold up, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, nope, 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 stop. Winner's character locked, right? Winner's character locked. Yeah, his throw damage. All everybody in the cast does uh, 18 hex of damage on throws. He does 25. Hey, Soul Breaker. Uh, I'm not playing in the tournament. If there's, if we decide to have casuals after the tournament, I'll hop in. We did have a couple players that um, we didn't find out until the tournament started that they weren't going to be in it. And there's a flawless. Oh, oh, ah! Flawless court jester. Oh, oh, mm, man, that hurts my heart a little bit. Ah. Good games, guys. Um, no, he is not. All right, so let's bring the bracket up. Let me bring the bracket up. See, there we go. All right, so uh, we can go with Master of My Universe and Sin Fuegos. So let me get Master of My Universe going. Uh, let, let him know he's up. I believe he knows, but... All right. Master of my universe and Sin Fuegos. All right, you know, Sin Fuegos on player one, Master of my universe on player two. All right, take care, Mariano. Oh my gosh. There we go. I need to really have that aligned better. Sinfuegos is a baller, man. He's going to lean. Sinfuegos is a, uh, he's quite a player. It's its interesting, actually. Um, it seemed like he and I had kind of a friendly rivalry going for a while. Um, uh, 
I beat him in a I beat him in tournament in 2018 uh, at CKK, uh, and then I beat him uh, to take uh, in the little tournament we had at Summer Jam that summer. Uh, I beat him to take uh, to take the tournament. Well, I faced him in 2019 CKK, and he whipped me around like uh, like I was a noob. And not Noob Cybot. He just whipped me up and down. He got me 3-0. And then he and Draconian knocked me and Ziggy out of the... Uh, well, they beat us in Grand Finals of the uh, doubles tournament. So, Sinfuegos is... Uh, he good. Nice teleport kick. Uh, no, Rain is not available for the tournament. Like, I, I figure if I'm getting crushed by somebody and I know I'm not going to win the third match, I might bust him out, take the automatic loss just to exhibit him a little bit. Um, but other than that, no. Now in casuals, uh, anybody that would like to can get him out. Um, Spades, uh, Master of My Universe is a fairly new player. thing about playing fighting games, UMK3, other fighting games too, but it seems like especially UMK3, um, it's an older game and there's already so many players that are at such a high level, um, but if you stick around, uh, you can get good really quick. And the hope is that Master of My Universe sticks around and we add him to the community. Add him more so to the community, I mean, my fault. He's already part of the community. It's always nice to have new players. Nice kick to the face by Kano. And Molina's not having any of that. Oh. Nice patience there. And that's going to be three. Nice game, guys. That was three. Right? That was three, right? I mean, I'm not... I'm not, I'm not slacking that much to think that I'm missing, missing game counts. All right, guys, now we've got Unknown Legend and McLovins. There's the bracket as it stands. So, yeah, we've got Unknown Legend and McLovins. Hey, it's all good, Master of My Universe. It's all good. Truth is, is we all start from somewhere. KT. What in the world? Unknown. Dale. Play. Who's UMKT? And who's Dale? I don't think he's, uh, I don't think that's our guy. Let's get, uh, let's make sure we can get Adrian on here.
Alright guys, so uh so once again, um uh, once again, uh benefit stream for uh for arcade legacy. Um and look down in the link below. There's links I think below and I'm posting it in the chat right now. Uh, there is a GoFundMe uh, for Arcade Legacy. Um, they've been very good to us over the years, and uh, we're just doing what we can to give back. So we've been we, we started up last month uh, having just a casual style tournament that we put on stream, uh, doing a little CKK online bit, and uh, just thought that this month it would be good to to do something for Arcade Legacy. So uh, donate if you can, uh, share the stream out. If you would like to, drop a sub, like the video. Uh, we want to get all the uh, information out about uh, this for Arcade Legacy's sake that we can. Uh, great group of people there. Uh, Jesse's a great guy, the owner of Arcade Legacy. Uh, can't say enough good things about him. Uh, been very good to us at CKK. So uh, drop a donation if you can. Uh, drop a like on the video if you would. Share the stream out. The more people we get, the better. So... Let's take a look at the let's take a look at the brackets here. See if there's something else we can get. All right, take care, James. All right, um, well, I'm gonna give Adrian a few minutes. Let's get uh, this. This will be a good match. Let's get Draconian and Counterweight. Draconian and Counterweight. Drac and Counterweight. You guys are up. We have a Draconian. Just need a Counterweight. And then if uh, McLove, if uh, unknown, Le if we don't hear from Legend uh, by the end of this match, um, we'll get uh, Robin Steele and uh, DDY up to go. All right, we're gonna have Counterweight on Player One, Draconian on Player Two. This will be some good matches right here, guys. Here we go. Pushes him into the corner. Gave up a little bit of damage to keep him in the corner, but that's all right. It's probably what he was intending to do. Drac usually does everything that he does for a for a very good reason. In this case, it was to get extra damage. What's up, Chardonnay? Some 
nice uppercut by Jet. Nice, uh, nice slide as well by Counterweight. Draconian applying some pressure. Ooh, a couple of punishable uh, let goes there. He didn't finish the three hit pop up. Counterweight in an offline environment could have punished that very easily. You have to almost be anticipating it online though. Nice uppercut to win the round. Naked Spear by Drac. Well, this could set up some big damage. Very nice, 43%. Not bad for some high punches and a slide. Nice reaction by Drac to jump over the ice. Big punish, 58%. slide punching some air trying to break up the golden punches block jabs glitch jabs whatever you want to call them little clone Ooh, back behind the back slide there's that bug that's not a bug of a nice clone counterweight's gonna go up one nothing that's cool street fighter yeah um Counterweight's a quality player. Fight. He's been to one CKK event, um, and he did really well. It was his first time at an offline event, I think. It was definitely his first time at CKK, but it might have been his first time playing uh, UMK offline in a tournament. And uh, he did really well. well done. Took a little extra pain for that naked spear. Uh, shock, I call it a bug that's not a bug because the code is there. It's just a really wonky place to have that. It's basically checking for a block bit to let it connect so it's not truly unblockable. So calling it a bug that's not a bug may not be the the best thing to call it, but it is definitely um, definitely nerfed like crazy. Not only it's tied it's tied to blocking because it's checking if there's uh, it's checking if it's if the block button is being pushed. Um, but not only. Um, Hang on, after after the match, I'll explain. <sighs> wow. Oh, wow, Counterweight's going to go up 2-0. Yeah, Slamtown, uh, there's a link in the bracket uh, in the details uh, of the uh, in the details of the stream. Uh, I'll also put the bracket up after this match is over. I don't have it on me, like, immediately right now, unfortunately, to, like, just paste into the chat. Round one. Fight. But it's there in the description, and it's, uh, I've been, I'll, I'll put it up after this match is over. So... Nice. All right. Very definitive corner action there by Drac. Jump in and you get punished. Some bread and butter by Human Smoke with a little Drac flavoring on the end. Ooh, nice way to tap out into an uppercut. Another backside slide into a frozen kick. And now, counterweight is on match point. Drac went for the relaunch. Change the spacing of his jump kick. Three to one. Two to one. 
Hey, what's up, Street? But yeah, uh, Shock, it's so nerfed in UMK3 because there's not the only obvious proximity check, uh, but it does not let you do the clone if the opponent is in any kind of falling frames, or as I like to call it, the peril frames. If the opponent is being... If the opponent is in hurt frames, um, then you cannot throw the clone. That's it, a, another nerf. So you can't jump kick and then clone off the jump kick to basically give yourself free rush. That was a naked spear with very few unintended consequences. I think, nice throw. I think sometimes the naked spear getting thrown out is not the worst thing that you can do. Track with that round there on an uppercut to end it. Ooh, I think he might have been able to punish that with a pop-up, but he avoided the freeze, and that was the important part. Stuffs the uppercut, gets popped up. Okay, gives up a little damage to keep the pressure on. That's a that's a commonly seen drag strategy. And now it's two to two. Alright, now, that's getting hype here, fellas. Round one. Fight. Oh, a little slow to punish, unfortunately. I think he tried to punish again. A naked spear with, few unintended, with no unintended consequences there. He elected to keep he elected to keep him in the corner instead of take the extra damage and it, he still got the round. round two. Fight. Jeff, I have beaten McLovin's one-handed versus one-handed. Although one time it was it was one time. going to be it. Good games, guys. Good games. Yeah, the punishes can be a little touchy online, especially if you're if especially if you're hit confirming. Um you don't. You just kind of slam buttons. Hey, what's up the salesman? Nice to see you. So here is the tournament bracket as promised. So draconian oops takes it from counterweight three to two. All right, um, no sign of legend. No sign of legend. So uh, unfortunately, that's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be a 3-0 for, Mc, for McLovin's by default. All right. Um, now, it's now. what do you guys think? Nick wants to get a... Uh, uh, if Nick wants to get some matches in, would it be okay if, if I jumped on and just got whipped around real quick by McLovin's to, to give give him a, a warm-up set because we've been at this for almost two hours and he hasn't played yet. Alright, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. McLovin's get in there. You and me. First to three. Yeah, UMK3 Plus is a hack of uh, UMK3. Quite a... Uh, there, there's, a there's a lot to it. Oops. There's a lot to it. No, I'm not going to take Legend's place. I'm not here for the tournament. I'll play in casuals after, but I'm not going to jump in the tournament. 
All right, I am there. All right. In fact, I'll uh, cement my losses. Maybe I'll even play as Rain. I don't know. He kind of sucks. Kind of is an understatement. Kind of is an absolute understatement when it comes to how bad Rain is. But I will give it a go. I'll be on player one. All right. Am I not configured? How am I not configured? Oh, I know why I'm not configured. Hold on. Sorry, Nick. I appear to be. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Alright. Here we go. Time to get whipped. Oh no. Oops. Wow, the lightning connected. Mark the date. That low kick did like one pixel of damage.
<laughs> what do you mean, Shock? He's not that great. He's really not. Team Purple here. Ow, 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 ow. And I get off his screen. Oh, that water ball was like a pixel behind him. Let's do the colorful combat code. Oh, nice. Ooh, finish with the kick combo. Very nice. games. Brutality. All right. So let's get the bracket back up there. All right. So McLovin's got that. All right, guys. We got 1-800. You're a scrub. And... Street. So about rain. Um, his lightning 
uh, for beta two will get a buff. It will st it, the the lightning will start up quicker. Um, so, um, Street Fighter it, uh, trilogy is not as close to UMK three as you think it is. Um, it's it's not it's not quite. Trilogy, yeah, and there's two different versions, you know, PlayStation, the CD-based versions, and then the N64 version. The N64 version is different enough to play, like, a slightly different game. Um, the disc versions play, like, kind of UMK3. All right, let's see, we've got, uh, yeah, 1-800-Euroscrub and Street. But I haven't heard from Euroscrub, so we'll find out. There he is. Uh-oh. He's driving. That's not good. All right, let's see what let's see who else we can get. He might be home soon. All right. So, let's get um uh who else can we get? Let's get Robin Steele and DDY. All right, DDY, Robin Steele. There's Anti. Yeah, Trilogy was fun, just accidentally good. I think is the best way best way to put it. All right, we have DDY on player 1 and anti on player 2. Well, I say anti, that's Robin Steele. Yep, DDY, player one. Robin steals Katana going in on Ermac. See what happens. Ermac takes the first round. Oh, Twin Paradox. What's up, man? A little arcade legacy benefit. And actually it's been a it's been a minute. Let me drop that in the as the GoFundMe link, guys, for Arcade Legacy. It's who we're here for tonight. Last month we had a little fun, just a casual style fun tournament. This time it's a casual style fun tournament with a purpose. So help out Arcade Legacy if you if you can, guys. That's what the link is. It's also in the video description. You can follow along with the challenge bracket in the video description if you want to have it up between matches. All that information is there in the video details. Details, not description. Or was that title? Details, title, description. It's there. So... Awesome paradox. Be glad to see you in the tournament. Nice roundhouse. Ooh, 
jumps away from the uppercut. Alright, some, uh, some DDY bread and butter there from Ermac to push him towards the corner. Oh, the double roundhouse. Oh, I love them Chuck Norris combos. Everybody gets hosses. Rad hosses. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks, man. It's, uh, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you, uh, Paradox. Always glad to have a chance to catch up with you. Have to talk soon. Dude, Drac, there's a Waffle House that opened up right next to my house. Like, like five minutes from my house. There's, And then, like, it opened, and then the malware hit. Nice uppercut to take the round by DDY. Fight. See, like on the stream, it looks kind of fuzzy, but like watching it on, watching it on the the main itself, it's running fine. So I got some settings I have to tweak again. My apologies for that, guys. You don't expect your video card drivers to corrupt every four weeks or so. All right, guys. Good games. Good games. All right. That was DDY over Robin Steele. Let's see if we got... All right, let's see where we're at. So footwork unfortunately has to go. So he's got he's got to do that. Sorry to see that happen, but he has to go. All right, let's get uh See Robin Steele just played. Let's get uh Master of My Universe and psh, up again. Master of my universe. There's Psh. Let's get a quick look at the bracket here, guys. All right, we got a Master of my universe on player one. We're gonna have Psh on player two. That's so satisfying to say that name. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Sorry. User error. There we go. All right. Master of my universe on player one. Oh, look. You get the, you get the main window. There it goes. Round one. Fight. <laughs> yeah, it's double elimination. Street Fighter. What's up, Conqueror? Nice uppercut by Master of My Universe.
I've been uh, I've been playing on. That's a lot of throws. I've been practicing on keyboard. I got a keyboard last weekend, or not a keyboard. I got an arcade stick last weekend. It's an Xbox uh, MK9 stick, I believe. So it's not arcade perfect, but uh, it's close enough, um, and it's decent. So yeah, see, like it doesn't look that great on stream right now, but it's butter on the it's butter on the main app. So that's my bad, guys. I will get that optimized. Smoke is a judo warrior in the air right now. I might do that, Street Fighter. I think I have some, a couple of hap sticks um, in storage with my arcade board. What is he doing? Jumping around him. Well done. Yeah, we were just talking about that in chat the other night, Shock, about uh, spring weight and uh, kind of preferences about d-pads on certain d-pads ps1 ps2 ps3 etc good games guys all right so that was in master of my universe all right Shapeshifter and Draconian. Shapeshifter and Draconian. Alright guys, so I get this started. Shapeshifter and Draconian. That was quick. Man, these guys handle their business. <coughs> Excuse me. Shapeshifter on player one. Oh man, I can hear Shapeshifter now. Man, put away that witch. Put away that witch. Um, Aramacro Paradox. It'll be uh, it'll be next month sometime. 
I know next month we've talked about doing an MK2 tournament. But, uh, shoot, we could also do... Nothing that says we can't do both. It just depends. Time is, uh, oh no. Ooh, that Sub-Zero double freeze. Time is a little bit uh, limited because we're getting into summer months and I got one, I got a, got a youngin that's coming due in August, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, come on, I want seven axes. All right, one zero for Shapeshifter. But yeah, I think uh, I think MK2 next month would be good. Uh, like I said, we could do UM we could do UMK3 also. Um, so it just depends on depends on time. It depends on uh, time and timing. Really, is what it depends on. So, uh, but yeah, we'd use MK2 plus. We'd use MK2 plus with uh, you know standard. 3.1 gameplay. Um, we wouldn't turn additional moves on or anything. Same deal, we could do casuals afterwards and turn them on then. Alright, Drax looking to make a comeback here. Very patient. Caught him in a spin. Takes the round. Street Fighter 2000. You know, you know what's bad is I'm pretty sure we've spoken, and I, I can't. I'm drawing a complete blank. I'm, I'm a terrible human being. Yeah, we'll have something going on, stream-wise, one way or another. Yeah, you know, I'm not good, really, at MK2, but I play it because it's fun, and I will play next month uh, for the tournament, because... Wow! Relaunch on a male ninja. That's pretty hype. That is good stuff right there. Timmy with another nice, uh, nice morph set, if you want to call it that. Oh, Drac dropped it. Oh, hmm. Huh. Drop the combo to take the round. Ooh, getting a little bit of his me own medicine back there. Into the corner. Oh, just missed big corner damage. Ooh, morph to Molina for the fatal. Wow. Yeah, all the classics are great. I think if I had to order them, it would be uh, UMK3, MK2, MK1. MK2 is by far the most, like the, I think, from the factory anyway, the most polished of the series, best looking for sure. I just love the pace of UMK3. Very nice. Oh, nice spear. And I think my favorite fatality in the series. Um, backward sweep. That happens. My favorite one is uh, Scorpion's not toasty fatality. Not... Scorp the the one where he takes a spear and cuts your jugular and then cuts you in half just so violent and like dead like you are dead when that happens 
Oh, this might be it. Oh no, he he went he went to do a style combo. Now this might be it. That's it. All right. Shapeshifter takes it over Drac, three to one. Um, we're going to have to check on, um, you have to check on a competitor here real quick. I thought that, yeah, that was, that was three to one. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure. Somebody want to go back to that real quick and check it to make sure I'm, I thought it was three to one. Because we had a we had a fatal, and then we had an attempted brutal, and then he won. And then he won the first one. I can't remember what he did in the first one. All right. Let's see where Mister Eurus Scrub is at. Because we are at the point of being held up. See, all that, all those rounds have been played, so we can move this right along. All right, let's see what we got. Um, oh wait, that's my bad, I, I missed that. My bad. Loser of 11, yeah, we're, we're being thoroughly held up now. Let's do DDY and Shock. And then if we don't, if I don't hear from uh, from Scrub after this match, that's gonna be it. So DDY and Shock. No, oh, my my cat my cat is saying hello now. All right, guys. I don't want to don't want to overstate this, but there's the link if you guys want to uh, if you want to donate um, to a great cause to help keep Arcade Legacy afloat. They've been great to us. Um, Jesse's got three locations in the area. He's got the uh, original. Uh, he's got the original one where we have CKK every year. And uh, he's also got a barcade, and he's got another location just south of the river. Been very good to us at CKK. He's a good guy. He's got a great, got a great staff. And when this malware finally gets figured out, we'd like for them to come out on the other side. So, if you guys can, uh, if you can donate, that's great. If you can, um, if you can share the stream, that's great too. Get more exposure. Uh, for Arcade Legacy tonight. So, all right, we're gonna have DDY on player one and Shock on player two.
then I'll also get a uh, round one. Five, five. Also get a donation uh, look uh, after this match. Bring in some hype for Arcade Legacy. Good match here between DDY and Shock. Shock with Ermac. Thanks for uh, thanks for being part of it, Master of My Universe. Appreciate you being on stream. Appreciate you are uh, participating in the tournament. Appreciate your support. You're the man. Glad you made it home safe with that bad weather too. That was very. That was a very patiently played round by Shock. He kind of. Nickel and dimed Eddie out of that. That was very patient gameplay right there. Good combo by Eddie. Wow, chased him after the teleport and just barely got him. One to zero, shock. Draconian combo by DDY. No, Max, uh, loser is not character locked, but winner is. Loser can pick whoever they want. Definitely character locked. Oh, a little bit late with the punish. Nice uppercut. Stuff that on the way up jump kick. Fifty one percent. Nice combo. Uh-oh. Shock fixing to deal some damage. Oh, wow. Eddie came back. I don't think he actually did 49% there. That's a... That's a, that's a, bit, of a, that's a bit of a lie from the combo system. All right, guys. We're at 1-1. One, one. Shock sticking with Ermac. Shock might have been looking to go into the off the ground knee into uppercut. 
just missed it though. Still got a hit confirmed. Nice throw by DDY. Nice uppercut by Shock. Shock goes up two to one. Let me tell you something. It's it's so crazy to say Shock because like you know I've gotten to play one tournament with him offline and uh, just watching him watching him watching the videos of him playing UMK3 to be able to you know be able to commentate Shock playing like it's kind of cool. It really is. Even though it's online, it's still kind of cool to see. Eddie is going with Sub-Zero here. He went with Sub-Zero earlier in the tournament, and it worked well for him. Let's see what it does for him here. I think Shock has some bad memories in the combat temple here. Joe timed him out once. In the combat temple. Road to Evo, I think 2010. I, uh... That was the uh, Shock versus Joe, Road to Evo Grand Finals. That was the match that got me into UMK3. I know I've said that before, probably ad nauseum, but that's the match that got me into UMK3. Watching those two play was so hype. Shock going with Cyrax. Shock got flawless with Cyrax, as Cyrax. I mean, there were there was so much. There was so much that was cool, just just good. I mean, obviously good gameplay all around, but the commentary was good. I want to say it was Dark Rob and Sweet Johnny Cage, and just the commentary was good. Oh, oh, wow! All right, good game, Zeddy. Good game, Shot. Double flawless. Yeah, that's not that's not a good. There's not there's not many great matchups for Cyrax, and that one definitely is not a good matchup for Cyrax. Yep, UMK3 Plus lets you know when you double flawless somebody. All right, DDY over Shock, three to one. All right, last call for one eight hundred. You're a scrub. Dialing that number now. Ah, there he is. You're up. Twin was here. I think he had to go. You got Max. Where's Max? Yeah, all right. Let's go Robin, Rob, uh, Robin Steele and Max. Let's get that up. Let's get that going. Robin Steele and Max. Because it's been a minute since either of them's played. Robin Steele and Max. All right, so Robin Steele is going to be on player one. That's not right. There we go. Round one. Fight. Well done. 
Yeah, I think uh, I think at one point Paul kind of cornered the market on Ron Chips there, Post. <laughs> he had he bought a ton of them. Ooh, almost got a little, almost got a little juggle carry there. Yep, the MK plus the Mortal Kombat plus games. That's one, two, and Ultimate three plus are all geared towards uh, the arcade experience. Oh, you hear you hear giant, giant swear words coming out whenever you see Ermac doing the crouching high kick. As Ugh. It's like Cabal doing his blades. Nobody ever does the blades on purpose. Oh, that move is so punishable. It's ridiculous. All right, 1-0 for Robin Steele. Yeah, the old teacup. Kano does the teacup very well. I brought some pudding down here before the stream start. My wife made some pudding, and I didn't eat it. So I'm going to mute myself for a second and eat some pudding. Very nice combo there by Max. You know, I kind of feel like they could have... I kind of feel like that they could have completely taken, the bl taken Cabal's blades out of the game and it wouldn't have hurt him. Buffer in that spear. Buffer in that juggle. Nice combo. Goes the scorpion combo off the air. The air starter. Ooh, mall cop doing mall cop things. Observed and reported some smoking. Oh, wow. Nice use of the grenade. Nice combo by Max. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, just missed it. Nice throw with the baton. Oh, man. Smoke's mama felt that one. All right, good games, guys. All right, guys, 1-800-YOU'RE-A-SCRUB is not playing. All right, and that gives Wall Trap Queen a win. Get an updated look at the brackets here, guys. Footwork bowed out. All right. Um, let's go with uh, Sinfuegos and McLovins. 
Yeah, Sinfuegos and McLovins. I think that about catches us up. Yeah. Sinfuegos and McLovins. And while I'm trying to get that ready, take a look at our benefit stream. Very nice. $710 raised. That is amazing, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Very cool. Donating to a very worthy cause. He's on his way. All right, here come McLovin's. McLovin's is going to be on player one. San Fuegos will be on player two. Some mall cop and cabal. Let's see what happens here. Some fuegos going in with some cabal action. Lots of instant air fireballs. Nice combo by McLovin's. <laughs> yeah, Shock has a has a great Sonia. Sonia is, is great in so many situations. Now give Woody Harrelson some credit. I don't think Woody Harrelson has to. I don't think Woody Harrelson has to lift his pants leg with his hand when he uh, when he goes to do a roundhouse. I agree with that statement. Shock does have one of the best Sonys ever. Yeah, you know who else had a good Sonya when I saw it played was uh, 995. Phil, he had a decent Sonya. Mall cop trying to play Sonya with some footsies here. Ken going to Team Purple, getting that lean on. Ooh, a teacup. Molina also never does a teacup on purpose. Crouching high kick might actually be the most useless move in the game. It only gets in the way. Thanks, Drac. I feel like my Sony is my Sony is good in a pinch, but I I don't know. How well I use her 
like when it comes to brass tacks. Like she's one of my better characters, like when we're playing casuals. But I don't know how well I do with her in tournaments. Ken keeps dropping that second roll. I don't know what's going on here. I'll use Sonya more, Shock. I will work on using Sonya some more. If we play casuals tonight, I'll get her out for casuals. goes up 2-0. He observed and reported and made an arrest at the bank. That's what happens when you come in high on perp. What can I say? Yeah, Kenny's got a good katana. That's what Mall Cop gets for getting all unwieldy with that uh, baton. cabinet dude his striker makes me so mad because I'll do what I'll make one mistake and he just takes me coast to coast nice comeback there so Sinfuegos is down two to one that was a nice match and Kenny definitely did the right thing by going to uh, Kenny definitely did the right thing by going to Katana and now Nick's going to that 24-hour cabal into the square wave. Nice. Another square wave. Very nice. Drac is, uh, is, uh, Demonicris's striker, the striker that gets to ride around on the Segway. Yeah, CMM, this, uh, Sinfuego's katana is very strong. We saw either, uh, in that case, that one year, I can't remember who took a picture of it, but somebody took a picture of one of the mall cops at Cincinnati Mall rolling around on a Segway. It was either a Horde or a Demonicris Striker sighting. Well, Shock, if you want to stick around for some casuals, we can probably bust can probably bust out some Cyrax. If there's still like if folks are interested in playing some casuals on stream afterwards, I will uh, I'll I'll let the stream run for however long. Like a 
Lovins going to Katana. This is interesting. See how it plays out for him. It's not bad so far. That anti-air high kick. Ooh, into the throw. What the crap? What? Okay. Nice kick to the face. Katana, Katana. And there are two points to two points. Oh, wow. It's not, now it's one combo for you. Oh! Wow. Alright, now we're on match point for both of them. Face. Which one's actually Melina under there, right? Because there aren't two of them. Wow. McLovin's moves on. Good games. Let's go with, uh, let's go Street and Truku. Street and Truku. Let's get a quick look at the bracket again. Street on player one, Truku on player two. Ooh, jump over spin. Wins. Round two. Fight. This might be a rough matchup for classic sub. Oh, wow. The air fireballed away from the ice and blocked the slide. That, wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's good stuff.
fight. Good pressure by by Street. Good slide by True Kill. Wow, the backwards. Alright, two to O for street. Wow. That slide is there that That spin is so powerful. Nice clone. Quick forty three percent. Good dodge. up spin stuff the uppercut it's gonna be close oh wow all right good games guys street will pick that three to three to zero over true coup Good games. All right, so let's go. All right, let's go um, shock and psh. Shock and Rally the troops here. There's shock. Now we just gotta get. I don't remember. Did these guys play at Summer Jam? I can't remember if these guys faced off at Summer Jam. right on time so let's go back to the hype uh, there's a link guys it's also in the video details description if anybody wants to get on board the donation train or start a donation trade for train for arcade legacy help them stay afloat throughout the human onset malware of 2020 Please feel free. Alright, we got... Oh, who we got here? We got... And... Shock. 
one. Shot getting out the Sonya. Lots of blocking, lots of ducking. I think one thing about uh, you know the the donation for for Arcade Legacy, if you guys are, are able to, I mean, I mean, it's helping out a small business, uh, and it's helping out not. Not just like not just us, like at CKK to have a, a place to play, but there are so many events that go on there. Um, we actually had uh, around uh, around Christmas time, McLovin's and I put on uh, a, it, like it was very last minute. Um, Arcade Legacy holds an event called uh, Christmas or what, it, what do they call it? I can't remember what they call it. Christmas Combat maybe. No, it's not Christmas combat. I can't remember what they call it. They have an event uh, every year right around the holidays. And uh, we weren't like part of the official schedule, but we, you know, we, we said, hey, you know, could we, could we hold UMK3? And, uh, you know, Jesse said, yeah. And we ended up with 19 players, all local at that event. And part of it was because we were able to siphon off guys that were at this event. And Jesse holds a raffle every year right around that time. Um, different, you know, different raffled items. Um, he just does a lot, a lot, lot of cool things. And he runs a lot of those tournaments at that, at, 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 like at those venues. Like, he's the TO for him. He runs a lot of brackets, does a great job. So it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. You know, yeah, you know what's funny about that Street Fighter? We've had, we had 19 show up for that tournament. Besides McLovin's and myself, over the four years of CKK, McLovin's and I are the only two that have been at every one. But aside from that, I think we've had four or five guys over four years that were local for that event. There's just not many guys that come out for Classic MK around here, unfortunately. Okay, so I did get it right. Christmas Combat. Katana's applying a lot of pressure. Katana keeping the pressure on. Nice sweep. Shot just needs one chip. Nice. Yeah, it was very cool that we got to run that uh, event at Christmas Combat. Like, we, we weren't sure how many, if any, people we get to come out. But not only that, that was a nice combo. Not only that, but we got to, uh, the, the winner got the, the winner got money. Even though it was a free event, the winner got money. And was able to challenge Nick and I. No, you know, no risk associated with themselves. Or with with the money they won, but they could have won extra money beating me and Nick. They didn't, but they tried, and it was just it was a good event overall. It was a lot of fun. All right, good games, guys. Right. Let's get uh, Shapeshifter hasn't played in a minute. Sinfuegos and Robin have played recently. All right, let's get Truku and Shapeshifter. I know Truku played not long ago, but Shapeshifter hasn't played in a while. So, hey, thanks. Uh, good game shot.
True Coup and Shapeshifter. Yeah, the only the only MK games I'm really competitive at, like myself, is uh, UMK3 and a little bit of MK2. Like if I if I if I'm feeling it, if I'm having a good day, then I can then I can get it done. But it doesn't happen often. All right, we're going to have Shapeshifter on player one, Truku on player two. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, Spin has a Spin, wow Psh, Has a great It's great you got, got a really good Kung Lao the Katana is top notch as well I agree Frozen in the spin. Nice combo there. I think he read the. He might have read the ground freeze there. Oh boy! There goes his soul. Right back to the soul chamber. That's where Noob Cybot came from. Yes, Lamb Town. Um, over the years, um, there's been a lot more. I, I really feel like there's been a lot more character development in the in the game. Uh, people, there's a more diverse group. I think playing online and offline. It's not just the arcade scene anymore. Um, it's you know players that got their start online. I, I think actually. Most players that are playing this game competitively now got their start online, and it might be uh, fairly uh, unbalanced. Many more online players and offline players still playing. Um, but yeah, a lot of players, a lot of characters have been developed. So yeah, you're not going to see as many Cabal and Smoke Grand Finals, or Cabal and Cabal Grand Finals. Wow, that was a really nice dodge on that sweep. Wow. Well played by Shang. Just missed the ice puddle. Nice combo. Ooh, Shang got the morph back at just the wrong time there. Alright, 2-0, Shang.
That's true. I agree with that too, Kenny. Where have I seen this before? Oh wow, very nice. That witch is flying. Oh, there he got her. Got her out of it. Oh, ah, that was not. That was not optimized there by. But he still came away with the win. Yeah. One. Okay. And the uppercut. Good, good puddle. Oh, almost had the relaunch. Oh boy. Nice upper, nice, nice roundhouse of the anti-air. Ice, ice puddle. Jump over into the combo. Sub Zero getting that work done. Cut. Ooh, Shang managed to stay off, stay off the ice. Nice, another anti-air roundhouse by Truku. Two to two. It's getting interesting now. Powerful move in the game to the most powerful move in the game. All right, now the shapeshifter is on match point. Good game, guys. Oh, lamest fatality in the series. Fatality. All right, good games, guys. Very well done. Let's get um, Sinfuegos and Wall Trap. Or, no, I'm sorry, Sinfuegos and Robin Steele. Let's. Uh... Oh, hold on. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta get out first. Hadn't closed up Mame yet. Sorry. All right, yep, Sinfuegos. Who did I say? Yeah, Sinfuegos and Robin Steele. Hey, what's up, Parallax?
There we go. Now Sin Fuegos and Robin Steele get in there. All right. I think Sonya might have been able to block that one. Alright, here we go. Oh, big punish right here. Nice. Nicely done. That combo, when done on male ninjas and bigger characters, will, uh... That, that goes from a mid-screen to a 100% corner combo. That high punch, anti-air high punch into lift. 100% started basically mid-screen. Uh, Ermac is filthy. Steel goes to Katana now. Sonya must have had enough. Oh! Wow! What a swaggy combo by Sinfuegos. Love that aerial knee into uppercut. Let's you do some really nice looking stuff. And you know, it may not be the most damage-optimized combo, but if you're the opponent, sometimes that can just wear you down. Because, basically, you have no control for, like, almost five or six seconds during that combo. Maybe longer than that. You're just, you're helpless. You're just sat, sitting there watching, like, you might have time to go upstairs and make a sandwich while Armax juggling you. Unbelievable. Sinfuegos is starting to hit his stride, I think. Oh, Robin dropped the combo. Anti air uppercut for the win. Yeah, the dropped combos in crucial situations can be demoralizing. Nice. Uppercut. Uppercut. Nicely done. Watching, watching Sinfuegos Ermac and watching Shocks Ermac and even watching McLovin's Ermac and Draconian's Ermac and he's not here right now but uh, Demonicris's Ermac almost makes a case for, for him being number two over Human Smoke. Sometimes, almost. It's worth a conversation, I think, sometimes. Good games, guys. All right. Well, the bracket is coming right along. We are down to top eight. 
Is that right? Yeah. This is your top eight, fellas. Biggs, McLovin, Street, DDY, Sinfuegos, Wall Trap, and Shapeshifter. All right. We got Biggs and McLovins. Biggs and McLovin's. Top eight, guys. Top eight. Speaking of top eight, drop an eight spot in a GoFundMe for uh, for Arcade Legacy. That's why we're here tonight, guys. Going to have McLovin's on player one. Biggs on player two. Oh, that's a good one. I think that's a that's a result of a couple of routines not running in time before loading the game mode into the character select screen. Oh, you're right. That is a glitch on main. That's a known glitch. Actually, been around a while. Where'd he go? There he is. He's in the corner of the street, winning. Nice roundhouse. Caught him again with the with the force ball. Definitely a force to be reckoned with tonight. Reptile darn near elbowed her off the screen. With the flawless. See again, watching MAME, it's buttery. Watching watching the stream doesn't look so great. Not sure what's causing that. I apologize. My computer decided, uh, you know, yada, yada, yada. Here we go. Wow! 24 hits, 86% damage. Oh, maybe it's maybe it's just on my monitor then. It looks it looks a little bit choppy on my monitor sometimes, not all the time. That's why I wonder. But I think an Nvidia card is in my future for sure, sooner than later. Put him down, reptile! He didn't do nothing to you. Wow, two O bids. McLovin's going to smoke the other invisible character. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Now he goes invisible. Nice combo. Stays invisible. Comes back visible because he blocked the spear. Nice punish. We'll drop that, but he still came away with it.
go again. Oh. Oh. All right. Wow. Three nothing. Good games, guys. Biggs with that reptile. Yeah, all right. And Biggs has punched his ticket to winners finals. All right, we got Street and DDY. All Street and DDY. Got a DDY. Leaving us, Victor. Thanks for coming out and joining us, hanging out for a little bit. Street on player one. Round one. Fight, fight. <laughs> oh, nice. Good punish. Well done. Good corner carry. Very nice by DDY. Good punish off that fireball. Round two. Fight. Got a little almost. It's a good punish. Sometimes these classic matchups, you just gotta let them. You just gotta let them play. Not much commentating to do, to be honest. Yeah, I I agree, Matt Torres. This is this is the classic high level UMK3 matchup. Human smoke and cabal. Street. Round one. Fight. 
now we got this 48 hour cabal going blue jeans hard working blue collar cabal versus supervisor cabal twin twin brother cabals looks like he's been uh looks like he's been putting down a f the floor at the bank with them knee pads on like he's been installing a floor or maybe putting putting in some drywall. Lots of blocking, lots of lots of very quick moves, all all kinds of chip damage. Street takes it. Round two. Fight. Nice spin by DDY. Hey, that, that's because he's got chronic sprained ankle, Street Fighter. He's got chronic ankle sprain. Give him a break. All that spinning, man. He kind of, Sometimes he uh, just loses his footing. That's why he's so fast on the drywall jobs. Hey, the male ninjas in MK2 had baseball shin guards. Like catcher's shin guards. DDY going to Classic Sub. That's been a standby for him this tournament. Let's see how he does. That was an interesting combination there. I did it again. Dude, you know, Nobility's Classic Sub, I think, was good back in the day. But I don't think uh, I don't know I don't know if it stands up anymore because he just he doesn't play anymore. I miss I miss watching him play like he's got a great like he had the classic sub back in the day. And classic sub like it's fun to uh, relaunch Cabal across the screen as classic sub. Good games, guys. Good games. And so Street has punched a ticket to winner's finals. All right, next up, we got Sinfuegos and Wall Trap. And Fuegos and Wall Trap. Uh, Matt, this is just the old Calera client. However you pronounce it, Kyera, Kylera, Calera. Lockstep. Oh, okay. Wall trap. There he is. All I had to do was put out the bat signal. All right, wall trap's going to be on player one. Sin Fuegos will be on player two. Traps on player one, my bad. Oh, this is not a good matchup for Cyrax. This reminds me, this is a flashback to uh, Chris G versus uh, Rio. 
Chris G who played Reptile almost exclusively in this game, let alone most of the Mortal Kombat games, had Ryo in the grand final. Ryo was playing as Nightwolf and he was just running through everybody. So Chris G switched over to Cyrax in the grand final and Ryo just crushed him. And I say all that and Cyrax gets the first win. Definitely Celeron Wolf for the win. Hayes is MIA. I talked to him a little after 9, and there's a flawless victory. I talked to him a little after 9, and he's gone. MIA. See the one advantage that Nightwolf has on these robots, and I think Kano, and maybe maybe Cabal, I can't remember. But a couple characters, he's got an advantage on him because his boot stomp, that Kickstarter, hits so low to the ground that some of the some of the characters uh, can get relaunched in the corner. I agree, Drag. I like the Celeron Wolf. Funny story about that. I put together a little. NAS server uh, for my for my files and stuff to keep everything safe. I, I need a, a low power processor and stuff. I found a nice embedded solution. It's a quad core Celeron, baby. 10 watt TDP. Uh, I'm just actually running Windows 10, Biggs. Windows 10 Pro. Nothing special. It was just a DIY. I wanted something that wasn't going to take a lot of power. I don't like a lot of those. I, li I don't like a lot of those store-bought NAS setups. It's an Intel embedded by I think ASUS or no uh, AS. It was ASRock. I don't remember. What's the matter with me? Yeah, ASRock. Nothing special. You know, eight gigs of RAM. Etc. Etc. All it, all it is is for file storage. Raid raid one. Kick in the face. Two o. Kenny Wolf. Wolf Fuegos. Lobo. Alright, Wall Trap has switched to Human Smoke. I don't know that I've seen him play Human Smoke before. Yeah, Matt Torres, you're right. Rio did have that and that super sub in N64. Well done. Ooh, flawless. flawless victory. Nicely done. One, two, three. Oh, just missed four. Three O. Good games, guys. Good games. I was not aware of that, Biggs. Alright, guys, we got Psh and Shapeshifter now. Let me ask you a question. Nice, Demonicris. Alright, yep. Psh and Shapeshifter. 
get some hype generated, guys. We're busting through the top eight here. And uh, still here for uh, for Arcade Legacy at the this little uh, little benefit tournament stream for them. So uh, they've, they've been good to us. They've been good to a lot of gamers around Cincinnati and all over the place. Uh, he's held many events there. Uh, I've seen events where there's been two or three hundred people uh, in the mall area for those tournaments. So it's been it's pretty cool. Just want them to come out on the other side of this uh, as strong as they were before. So if you get a chance, uh, donate. If you can share the stream out while we're still going, share it out. Drop a like, a sub, all those awesome, wonderful things that YouTube people tell you to do. But uh, supporting Arcade Legacy tonight, guys. Appreciate everybody coming out and watching. Appreciate everybody coming out that played and is still playing. So, yeah, we got Psh and Shapeshifter. All right. And we'll do another uh, donation uh, donation show in a second here after these two titans battle it out. All right, we're going to have Shapeshifter on player one. Psh, on player two. Typical, typical, usual suspects here, I guess. At least for Timmy. Oh, wow, look at that long-reaching air throw by Human Smoke. Shifter brings it back. Toe tap into toe tap into uppercut there, followed by some smoke punishing. Oh, I just missed that one. Timmy plays these. Uh, to me, plays these matchups really well. He's very good at matching other fighter styles. And he goes up one to zero. Oh. Sub-Zero Morph. One, two. I don't I don't think I don't think Psh goes for those. Uh, I don't think he ever goes for more than two. I think he goes with what he knows he can get. Which getting two, a couple anti-airs and a arrow is probably better than risking missing a third. So Fight. 
Is it me, or is this version of Shao Kahn's voice saying fight the most iconic in video game history? Or maybe of all the classic or 90s fighters, the most iconic fight? Oh, just missed the tail end of the ice ball. 53% ain't nothing to sneeze at. He's definitely more emphatic in 2. I think, uh... Hey, there's another maim glitch. I feel like his, uh... MK3 is just... It's not as emphatic as 2, but it's definitely... It's I like it. I like it. I also like his MK2 fight. Yeah, definitely more sinister in MK2. There's something about his, the way he says fight in, UM, in MK3 and UMK3. But Midway definitely took advantage of the DCS sound system. I mean, everything in MK2 and UMK3 sounds better than MK1. Far and away better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, he dropped it. Hey, you know, that's that's the nice thing about opinions. You know, you're allowed to have them. Um, I believe Ed Boon did all the voiceover in MK1. Yeah. Ground pound. Where's multiple ground pound 2020? Now, oh, Steve Ritchie is the man. Definitely sounds good as Scorpion. I agree with that. But you know, the get over here was actually Richard Rich DeVizio's idea. Ed Boon voiced it, but that was Divizio's idea. And Steve Ritchie, for all of his voiceover work, uh, was, was a pinball designer. But for the classic games, I don't think you I don't think you could have gotten a better voice a better voice to do Shao Kahn than that. Nice throw by Cabal. Nice over nice uh uppercut. 
Nice corner. Oh, wow. 3-2, good games. Excellent games, guys. Those were good matches. All right, let's now we got um, we got DDY and Sin Fuegos. Uh, yeah, I promised I'd put this up too. See how we're doing here. 760. Coming in strong, fellas. Very nice. Very cool. I'll paste the link again. If anybody feels like they can donate, there's no pressure to. But if you can, it's even better. DDY and Cienfuegos. Got a DDY. We got a Sinfuegos. Alright, Sinfuegos will be on player one. DDY will be on player two. This is going to be good. This is a rematch of the Grand Finals from last month. Look at that combo swag. And now, dead, ed, dead, oh my gosh, DDY. He's going to have some combo swag of his own. Good round. Round two. Fight. Into the corner. Not quite far enough into the corner. Okay, he's got to find his way out. And he does. Now he's got Eddie in the corner. Throws him out. Yep, Ermac is filthy. Ooh, throws him out of the sweep. Wow. He's just going to finish out. Nice. Nice combo. Nice anti-air combo starter to take the win for Sinfuegos. Fight. 
Eli's going to Kano. Kano! Yeah, it is, uh, it's almost a little disorienting when he suddenly goes airborne. Maybe he's kind of picking him out there. Yeah, you know, when, when you are many... Uh, there, you probably have a lot of lunch money in your pockets, so he'd definitely be the one to, to, to get to get him for his lunch money. There he goes, he got it! Very nice match there. One to one. Oh. Kenny goes to Cabal. Divizio was ripped and 25 years younger. We got a Divizio matchup here. In Trilogy, you get Baraka and you got Team Divizio. Drax got a good cane out. When Dank brings him out, he's got a good cane out. He's got them quick sweeps. And he's got pop up. Several. He's got all kinds of different options for pop ups. He's got four separate inputs for pop ups. All kinds of lunch money. Right, two to one DDY. Is he gonna go to Molina? Is he gonna go to Team Purple? Cyrax. That should be interesting. Was it was it two to one? I believe two to one. Round one. Fight. Mm. 
more lunch money. Man, Kano is making a killing on it. Dude, he stole off a mall cop. That's like, that's like taking a Segway for a ride. Yeah, it's two to one. Two to one DDY. It's gonna take care of it. It's gonna be that's three. Good games, guys. DDY has avenged San Fuegos. Has he avenged himself against San Fuegos? Alright, well, DDY is gonna stay up. And we've got McLovin's and Psh. Oh, look at that. McLovin's and Psh. Again. Again. I think these two have played each other in tournaments more than any other two guys have played each other in tournaments. Yeah, I, I, I wish uh, I wish she would have tried Melina Dubson. I really do. Wish she would have gone to Melina. Team Purple. All right, we got McLovin's and there's our bracket. We're going to have McLovin's on player one and psh on player two. Levins goes straight to Cabal, of course. I think it's a favorable matchup. Look at all that time he had to get into that spin. All that time to spin, spin. <laughs> yeah, he's got that Kickstarter, Matt. Kind of nice. Man, he could have been in real trouble for that one, but oh, just missed. Drop the combo there. Wow, Katana jabs him out. Levin stops that combo. That was smart because he would have opened himself up for punishment. Oh, there goes the blades. Nobody does the blades on purpose. Wow, nice uppercut. Alright, 
I've got one oh psh. Why he's not finishing that four hit combo with the fans? It's punishable. Well, it's not punishable on hit. It's punishable on block. Nice spin. Lowens takes the first round. Round two. Fight. Corner. Round three. There are some missed Fight. opportunities for punishes on from, from both of them in, in that round. Uh oh. Oh. Oh wow. Instant combo. Nice throw. Oh, nice air fireball. Nice jump kick. Wow, 1-1. One, one. Oh, 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 oh. Almost got the brutal. Nice punish. Nice anti air. That's a flawless victory. Flawless victory. Round two. That half screen sweep. It's Cabal's long legs. That's why that must be why he has his ankles taped up, his legs are too long. Oh, nice spin. Oh, we went for the relaunch. What's up, Stu? Nice punish on jump over, jump over axe, jump over spin. Very nice. Nice punish. That axe will literally get you every time in the air. Locking down in the corner. 2 1. Doing well, Stu. We unfortunately got a little bit of a late start tonight because I uh, my computer derped out about 20 minutes before the stream started. I tried running the stream and it didn't do so hot, but uh, it recovered and we're here. Fight. Night, uh, and Night Wolf are now on match point. One, two. Nice punish. He's on point with that anti-air axe. Nice jump back kick there. Nice spin. Oh, wow, nice reflection by Re Nightwolf. Cabal still takes the round with a sweep. Very nice. Good strategy on both their parts there. I was just trying. Ah, come on, guys. And 
Cleveland's was going for the uh, the air fireballs there. That was the nice, nice spin. Can't jump over Cabal. Nice kick to the respirator. Nice combo to win it. Good games, guys. Nice games. gonna have DDY and and the winner of that will go to losers finals so DDY and DDY and Let's check our donation stream here. Still at 760. It's not bad though, guys. Not bad. Not bad. Get those donations in, guys, if you can, if you want to. Yeah, I think uh, no doubt the, the one problem that I noticed earlier is Somebody who normally pings at like 30 to 40 had a really high ping, so there may have been some issues uh, that one match that things were running kind of slow. So, But things have been pretty good since then. Let's hope they stay that way. All right, guys, we're going to have DDY on player one and psh on player two. Oh, here we go. We got Kung Lao. We got that Uncle Kung. Bringing out Miss Spin. That's right, Biggs. Oh, he got hit by the blades. He got hit by the blades. Oh, my goodness. DDY is coming in strong with that Cabal. DDY is another player who has really grown in his talent level over the past couple years. Let's see, are, are we going to see a? Are we going to see a coast to coast? Oh, no, oh wow! Look at that jump over spin. Didn't quite capitalize the damage, but still got him. Nice combo. Ooh, blocked it, but couldn't punish in time. Cabal's got to get out of that corner. And he did. damage 42 percent for punish frames what a spin wow oh wow there was a lot going on there 
looked like he was going to spin behind him, but he spun. Wow. Just, wow. That was, that was cool. Fight. Spin goes back to Katana. Nice anti-air. Got to keep that pressure in the corner. It does a very good job of it. Now he puts himself in the corner. Gets himself out, jumps over. Both of them have quick air attacks. Nice, nice behind sweep. Yeah, spin. Wow, anti. Oh my goodness, that was filthy. Six for 60. Anti air. Cross under roundhouse into a spin. Insanity. Very nice. This is a good. This this will be a good match right here. That was a that was a nice punish. A lot of there there's some projectiles that are punishable by the uh, by Cabal's spin, and well, he got it. Dude. That's a nice punish. Fifty six percent. But Cabal is just a steaming freight train right now. Hey, Jesse, thanks for hanging out with us, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate everything you do for us, man. Really do. Hope that uh, hope that we can come, we can all come out in October. That would be awesome. Yeah, it is getting kind of late. <laughs> Theoretically, we'd have been about done. Three nothing. All right. Now this is not grand finals. This that was the road to losers finals. So now we've got Biggs and Street in winners finals. Biggs and Street in winners finals. Now this one is first to five. Yep. Unfortunately, I did not see those computer issues coming. My, like, it blue screened and my heart just like fell into my stomach. Fortunately, able to get it fixed. All right, Biggs and Street, winners finals, first to five, gentlemen. Gonna have bigs on player one, street on player two. You will never
first to five. Fight. Here's Biggs' chance to break in. Oh, just missed it. Well done. But hey, it beats it, he, it beats going to 6 a.m. like we did last time. If we would have gone, yeah, if we would have gotten the start time right at nine, it'd be one. One, almost 1.30 by now. Yeah. I was actually hoping we'd be done closer to 1. But, hey, you know, like I said, <laughs> it's not 6. I think the midnight start was kind of a novelty item. Break it here real quick so they into the full punish there, 39. Nicely done by Biggs, nice 30% combo with a couple of force balls in there. Oh, wow. Well done. You try to dodge the force ball with the... Try to dodge the force ball with the air fireball and ended up landing right on top of it. Nice uppercut. That uppercut tile. Combo 11 for 43. That ain't bad. Oh wow, Cabal takes advantage of that startup. Big combo in the corner, 12 for 61. And that's going to be 2 nothing. Oh, oh, that's brutal. In the winner's finals. In the winner's finals. Oh, flawless baby. Is that the third flawless baby we've seen tonight? Nice combo by Biggs. Four for 30. Couple force balls, couple of... There you go, nice, nice anti-air roundhouse to invisibility. He got spun right out of it. Oh, he tried for the roundhouse after the jump kick. Keeps him in the corner without the pushback with the roundhouse ender. And keeps the pressure on to take the round. Oh! That's 
Four nothing for Street. Big switches over to Human Smoke, another classic matchup. Five for 42, not too bad. You could have punished that with a teleport. And Cabal takes that round. Oh wow, instant air fireball off of the... Alright, now there's a chance for Biggs to do some damage. Alright, 43%, he went for the relaunch. Got part of it, he got, he got the jump punch, just didn't. There you go. Very nice, Biggs. Good human smoke, meat and potatoes combo. Five. Street heads to the grand finals. All right, so now we got Biggs and DDY in the losers finals. And that is going to be also first to five. So there's our bracket. Biggs and DDY. DDY is going to be on player one. Bigs on player two. Oh, did again. Yeah, we may make uh, Grand Finals uh, the same as Winners and Losers next time. The first to ten was, again, another novelty. But I think, I think making Winners, Losers, and Grand the same, I think, is probably for the best. We'll do that next time, but since we called first to five, first to seven, we'll do first to five, first to seven. Just a fun fun thing to get some more combat in but yeah we'll uh we'll do that next time that is a lot of games yeah that's we're you know it was what 10 to 8 or 10 to 9 or something um with uh kenny and eddie that's that is a lot of games Oh, just missed it. But he had that hop in. That's amazing. Just 
16 for 60, not too bad. Just threw that one out there. Ooh, that would have probably ended the round right there. All right, Kenny with some classic male ninja Kara jab rush down there on point. Oh, double danger. And Ermac takes it. Pretty. Uh oh. Gotta be careful of this. Oh, dropped it. made the move to human smoke again that might have been a might have been a good move for him Oh wow, still drop the combo, still got the uppercut, take the match. Take the round.
Mean team. Team purple. Lots of knees coming out. Nice throw. Oh, stuffed the leg grab with a punch. Still got it. Kind of highlights the pl the kind of highlights Melina's plight. I think she did all that fancy work in the corner, didn't get much damage out of it. All right, Biggs goes to Katana, and DDY might be riding Sonya to the grand finals. Probably wasn't the best choice of words, but I said what I said. Wow, nice sweep. Nice punish. Nice sweep punish on the fan. Wow. That's, that's a long sweep. Oh, wow. Wow, good games, guys. Wow. All right. Eddie. DDY goes to the grand finals. All right, guys. Let's take a look at the bracket here. We got uh, Street and DDY set up for Grand Finals. One more time, guys, before we go into Grand Finals, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, try to hype up this stream a little bit for Arcade Legacy. That's why we're doing the stream tonight, give them a little benefit. So um, They've been good to us for CKK for since 2016. Uh, been good to the local fighting game community, and in fact... Uh, Fighting game communities all over the country. Uh, I know people that have, uh, from New York that have been in, uh, you know, they've had tournaments, you know, they've participated in. Um, I think Art from uh, Team Spooky's been out there a few times. Uh, some guys from uh, an old RVA, oh, an old group called RVA, uh, had a tournament there. Actually, went to a tournament uh, held by RVA it was. Uh, Manifest Destiny, uh, really nice, real nice uh, setup. Uh, Jesse's always very accommodating. Uh, great, uh, great business that he runs out there. Great guy, great staff. Uh, it's not just an arcade. It's it's a it's a store. It's got you know used games of all varieties, uh, from retro to, to new. We've got uh, consoles set up. Uh, You've got a, a place back there where they have streams and where they have a big screen for people to play on, like party games and stuff. Uh, got the, the barcade down there on the north side of Cincinnati. And it's got the location down there in Newport. And the hope here is that we can do something for them to help them to come out on the other side of this thing. So uh, if you guys feel if you guys feel like it, drop a donation. If not, that's fine. You guys being here to support us uh, and, and to support Arcade Legacy can't ask for much more so appreciate you guys appreciate everybody coming out and playing uh, with all that said let's get to the grand finals street and ddy all right this one's first to seven 
going to have DDY on player one, Street on player two. DDY player one, street player two, grand finals. Street's picking Stan with Cabal. That's where he's been basically the whole tournament. takes first round. Round two. Fight. Nice spear. <laughs> Just misspaced the corner a little bit. Cost him, cost him about 10-15% extra damage on that. S street with the spin. That that tele that full screen that full screen uh, fireball is punishable on react and on block because that that fireball has just ridiculous amounts of recovery time. Okay. Picked a little bit different options there. Nice. Eddie goes up one nothing. Streets making the switch to Jax. Oh, no multiple ground pound, just a singular ground pound, but that's okay. It is 2020. Mm, just missed time the spear just a little bit. Still took the still took the match. Eddie's made the switch to Cabal. Another ground pound. Fireball action by Eddie there. Mm, nice jump over spin. DDY takes the round. Wow, combo. Caught him with both of the fireballs. Book ended with some ground pounds. Close to a multiple ground pound as you can get in 2019. Jax wins. 
Jacks goes or Street goes up two to one. Ooh, DDY going to Kano. Round one. Fight. Looking for some row game. Nice air throw. Good rush down by DDY. Throws him across the screen. Throws him back to the ground. Throws him back across the screen. Very nice. Collision boxes on that air throw are just ridiculous. Jax could, Jax could probably throw that swirl coming out of Khan's tower up there to the ground. Nice air throw by Kano. Oh, this could be big. Still a decent amount of damage. Alright, two to two. Oh, he gets his lunch money. Shook it out of him right before he hit the ground. Street goes back to Cabal. Not totally surprising. Round one. Fight. Nice uppercut. Uppercut. down to the wire. Oh, wow, nice air throw. Team Divizio in the grand finals. Draconian's got to be over here just beside himself. Wins. 49% off that. Oh, he just missed with the swipe. Our cabal going. Who's gonna win? The day laborer or the supervisor? Lots of lots of junk lots of jump kicks connecting on the way up tonight. I've noticed that. Missed a chance for a jump, for a, for a back backside spin there. I think. And he's stuck in the corner, and it's going to be four to two.
you going with human smoke? There you go, nice punish. This could be big. Ends up being big for Eddie. Drives him into the corner. Nice combo, 60%. Classic, the classic grand finals matchup, Cabal versus Human Smoke. Nice combo by Eddie. Good finish. Hey, got spun right out of that. All right, five two. Spins came out, but didn't actually do anything. He got punished out of him. Nice sweep. Another nice. Oh, what a spin! Wow. Eddie takes the first round. Nice spin by Eddie. Very nice. I think he meant to do an instant there. It's the thing, when you don't do an instant air fireball and you want to, it can be very brutal. 6-2, all right. Street is on tournament point. Eddie goes back to Cabal. Round one, fight. Hmm. That was decisive for Street. Oh, wow. Oh, another one. Oh, no. I think I see where this is going. Oh, nice spin. Nice spin by, by Eddie. Oh, I see what's coming. Oh, wins it on a baby. Oh, my goodness. All right, congratulations to Street. So let's bring up that uh, let's bring up that bracket one more time. All right, 
So there we go. Street and DDY. We're going to end the tournament. Seventeenth place tie. We got Legend, Turd Baby, Counterweight, and Strobe. Got a couple DQs in there. Thirteenth place. One eight hundred. You're a scrub. Master of my universe. Draconian. Max. Ninth place. Robin Steel. One eight seven. Shock. Truku. Footwork. Seventh place. Wa Shapeshifter and Wall Trap Queen. Fifth place. McLovin's Sinfuegos. Fourth place. Psh Third place, Biggs. Second place, DDY. And first place, Grand Champion, Street. So, all right, guys. That uh, that wraps up the tournament. Um, I'll drop this link one more time. Uh, GoFundMe, if uh, you guys feel so, uh, feel so inclined. Looks like we got to 770 guys. Not too bad. $770 raised for Arcade Legacy. That's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, it's also 3 o'clock. I know I mentioned about having some casuals afterwards. Uh, if anybody has their heart set on it, I'll, I'll run it for a little bit. Um, but otherwise, if, if we don't have a whole lot of interest in it... Um, I'll call it. So we'll hang out. We'll talk for a little bit. Uh, good stuff. Just overall good stuff on uh, on this stream tonight. Some really high-level combat. Saw some players we hadn't seen before. Uh, saw some players that have improved, that improve every time they come out and play. It's good stuff. So, uh... Really enjoyed, appreciate everybody coming out, doing this for Arcade Legacy. It's really nice. Really nice. Really awesome. So, but yeah, once again, uh, congrats to Street, DDY, and Biggs for our top three. Top four. Psh and then top eight rounding out as McLovin, Sinfuegos, Shapeshifter, and Wall Trap Queen. Great games, guys. Great games, guys. Great job to Street. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, thank you, Truku. I appreciate you guys coming out and playing. Um, you know, because without the players, uh, we don't have a stream to put on. Uh, to help benefit Arcade Legacy. So that's huge for you guys to come out. And for you guys that hung out with us the entire time, uh, I think CMM, you've been here about the whole time. Uh, Dubson, you've been here about the whole time. Uh, the guys that uh, uh, made early exits from the tournament but continued to hang out in the stream, appreciate you guys very much. Um, everybody for uh, doing their part. Thank you guys very much. Had a good time. Next month, I think we'll do some MK2. Might look into uh, uh, having an MK2 and a UMK3, but uh, definitely an MK2 tournament next month. Uh, appreciate everybody coming out. Um, and I think at this point, being 3 o'clock, uh, I don't think we're going to have any casuals to stream. But uh, thank you guys. Uh, and I know Arcade Legacy and Jesse really appreciates it. So uh, once again, guys, thank you very much. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, we'll see you guys next month. Uh, you know, I, we put up some gameplay uh, videos and stuff every once in a while. Do a stream uh, for UMK3 Plus development every week. If you guys want to watch it, you're more than welcome to check out the channel. Uh, you know, when I, when I do that. Uh, what I really love, I, I love people coming together and playing some games playing some umk3 mortal kombat classic mortal kombat in general it's the best it really is like i think fighting like of the classic fighting games there's a ton of good ones but none of them's like umk3 so but once again thank you guys i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here uh, i am tedrusis thank you guys for coming out 
and doing this benefit uh, to the guys that played and the guys that supported the stream. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign out, guys. So have a good night. Take care. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.